curious petitioner you are. Not of the Fae, nor of the denizens of this new world. Send it away, then. Fae law is not for foreigners. On the contrary, Oneril. Though its rules differ for Fae and Non, Fae law applies to all within the One True King's domain. Come, petitioner. Step up to the podium. Hail, stranger. I am Savon, speaker of the One True King's Council. State your nature and business for the record, please. Your nature, yes. What are you exactly? You're not one of the... Well, what do they call themselves? The Dran, are you? <laughs> Neither Fey nor Dran. How very curious. Tell us more about this Earth. Oh, Niel, you waste our time. The Fey have more imperative matters that require our attention. Oneril speaks true. Please. Petitioner, briefly state your business before the Council. Oh, you see, it wastes our time. Hmm, a pity. I had hoped for more stimulating distraction. If that is all you have to say, Petitioner, then please step aside. We have quite enough troubles to occupy our time. You have wasted quite enough of our time, foreigner. The Fae have far more important concerns than you before us. M uh, hold a moment, Oneril. Perhaps this stranger could be of use to us. The Fae presently live in fear and uncertainty, stranger. The one true king has been usurped by an imposter, aided by one of those seated before you. But we know not which. As an independent party, you might find clarity where we have failed. Will you help us? That is wise. You are under no commitment unless and until you choose to make an accusation. That said, should you come across sufficient evidence, you are permitted, within certain conditions, to accuse one of those seated here, and this body will consider the accusation. A great tragedy, stranger. For eons, the Fae and this council have faithfully served the one true king. But alas, his rule has been curtailed. The imposter, Faelin or Faelrin or whatever they call themselves now, placed the king in an eternal slumber from which he cannot be woken. The king was attacked in his own chambers, behind this very door. The imposter could not have entered without aid from a member of this council. But, of course... We all have our alibis, as you can imagine. None of us were here. This has been proven many times. If you can find any evidence tying one of us to this tragedy or to the imposter, then Fey justice might be done. It won't be enough, Savan. The imposter still sits upon the throne. Yet, it will be a step and a necessary one toward restoring order among the Fae. It means you're not Fae, and your life is easily forfeit. Please, Oniril. Stranger, we would discuss the conditions of your accusation if and when you choose to make one. We do not. This fast does nothing. Peace, Oneril. The law is clear on this point, as you well know. I will answer your question, stranger. With a traitor among us, trust has shattered. If any of us were to produce evidence at this stage, it would be suspect by all. And rightly so. Either of you would love any excuse to remove me from the Council. And you do not wish to hold half the Council's power yourself, Oneril. <laughs> you cannot pretend it isn't true. Regardless, stranger, you are not from this world, either of these worlds. So any evidence you bring would be free from the suspicions which we have cast upon ourselves.
We now know that the imposter approached each one of us at some point, whispering promises of freedom and power, trying to poison our minds against the one true king. <sighs> he only said what we wanted to hear. Pity one of us listened. Can you blame them, though? The imposter called out important truths. Is that an admission of guilt, Niall? If you would allow me to finish. I was saying he called out important truths that we must take to heart, despite the poison that obviously accompanied them. We would do well to address the flaws raised by the imposter. And I find it difficult to cast blame on any who thought there might be a smoother path towards doing so. And yet that path has led to ruin. We have merely exchanged one tyrant for another. Indeed, but our feelings on the outcome are irrelevant. This council must be absolved of guilt if we are ever to restore order to the Fae. Alas, we do not know. There is no blood, no wound that we can see. Not that we were able to investigate the scene fully. At your request, Onoriel. I cannot trust either of you backstabbers nor anyone you might call to serve us. Were those not your words? Oh, they were, indeed. And the sentiment holds. Regardless, it is unknown even what could harm the king. For it is said that no mortal weapon can kill him. And many have tried. The king has ruled over the Fey as long as anyone can recall. He has always been... A guiding force, both in our world and our lives. Some believed he was too much of a guiding force. Mm, more than some. Yet, look at us now. The king sleeps, and our world is spun into chaos. Indeed. It would seem his life is more entwined with our world than anyone knew. Imagine what would have happened if he had been killed. Oh, of course! How could we have been so blind? The genius of this foreigner who is so much more clever than all of the Fae together. Please, Onoril. Their question is academic curiosity. The simple answer, stranger, is magic of a kind more powerful than any here have yet seen. We suspect the Impostor's conspiracy went even deeper than this council alone. Which is why we must identify which of you is the conspirator here. They are a monster. They care nothing for the welfare of the Fey. Nor those of us who serve the Fey. Nor for the law. On this we all agree. The Impostor's plan should never have been carried out. So it would seem. We cannot function like this, stranger. If we cannot root out the traitor, then this council remains impotent. As you will, stranger. Should you find evidence, though, bring it before us.
Even get some. Come.